it's you! You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished editing my stream. It's all the proof you need. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. Do you believe in ghosts? I knew it! Curious cats like us usually have a better sixth sense. It's easier for us to perceive the unseen. Enough chit-chat. Look, this is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden. What's up, guys? Little Gwei here. We've come to the scariest, most haunted place in the Lofu. Fixtral Garden. Don't forget to like, follow, and share. Or else I'm gonna check it out. They say there's been paranormal activity You're such a here. scaredy cat. You said you'd protect me. How do I stop something that's in the body? I think I just saw something go wrong. <laughs> Bestie got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? What? No! There was a freezing chill, not to mention the way they drifted through the air. They were legit ghosts. Anyway, the key point was... It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. That's what I'm saying! At first, Sushong didn't believe that Fixtral Garden was haunted. But after the judges showed up... In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Possibly. But the judges kicked me and Sushong out of there straight away. It looked like they were setting something up in the garden before we left. There has to be a conspiracy. Oh, I mean, ghosts. Actually, do you have some free time? Do you want to explore Fixtral Garden together? Just the two of us? I guarantee you we're gonna reveal the truth this time. <laughs> I knew it. This is what people like us live for. Let's go. Star skip service? <laughs> Who knows? It's so dark in here. It feels like we're being watched. Did anyone ever tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Then allow me. As a streamer, I've done my fair share of research. Let me find my script. <clears throat> Wandering fox spirits and ghostly tales. Fixtral Garden was originally a garden dell constructed by a foxy and craftmaster. It was a place for their kin to rest, write poems, and feast, etc., etc. It said the elite pilots of the Foxians were almost wiped out in the denizens of Abundance War 30 years ago. People went to the Foxum tomb in Fixtral Garden to grieve for the departed. Because of this, Fixtral Garden rarely saw visitors and was bereft of joy. Over time, Fixtral Garden became full of flickering ghostly flames and weeping lamentations echoed through the air. The rumor that the garden was haunted spread like wildfire among Sienjo Lofu residents. Huh. 
I know, right? I did a lot of research before I decided to film here. I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. Anyway, that's the background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. You're evil. <laughs> Time to get some footage. Infallible. Time to say bye. Boom. In lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Stand still. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Human creations. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Flame. Relax. <laughs> Break. Converge and awaken. <laughs> oh, Grace. Blade of moonlight. Stand still. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Just as I thought. As divined. It looks like there's someone up ahead. Let's go around. Infallible. Just in time. time to say bye. Boom. In lunar flame. Try harder. Blade of moon. Stand still.
flame. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> We shouldn't take too much. Am I saying things? Time to say bye. Boom. Whoa, I didn't know you were so strong, bro. But these are Lolfu officials. If we're interrogated, we need to get our story straight. Time to say bye. Boom. In lunar flame. Say bye. Boom. pale she is and it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing <gasps> is she a ghost as a member of the ten lords commission you may as well consider me a member of the dead i am a judge alias hanya responsible for the four duties of detention incarceration interrogation and punishment therefore i know a thing or two about you quinifan an outworlder unemployed. 
You entered Fixtral Garden with Su Sheng, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. As for this one here... Uh, are you really selling me out that fast? Whatever. I'll take the hit. It's true. I persuaded her to come along. Regardless whose idea it was, this place has been designated as a restricted area. No one is allowed to enter. Tell me, Gwen Ifun, why did you return here? Uh, no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> We have already told you there are no ghosts on the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling. A and Sushan saw them too! Miss Gwenaithen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Xianzhou, right? That's gotta be it. We should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Uh, Mr. Tail. I heard you, I heard you. <laughs> Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Mr. Tail? I'm a heliobus. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! <laughs> Strange girl, here to film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breaths, little Gwei. Deep breaths. <clears throat> Can I have a small chat with this Mr. Tail? I said scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you! I told you, I'm not a ghost! If I have to repeat myself again, I'll be eating every one of you! Please don't be afraid! He's only kidding! Mr. Tail is a vegetarian! Your Honor, if I may ask, what exactly is this fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. Hua Hua, please see them off. Y yes ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped, and have been haunting this place. 
The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited, but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. Yes. They attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their hosts' experiences and emotions. A Heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the Heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a Heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the Heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other Heliobi are nothing compared to me! Teo was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, Heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame, but that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. Not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. We should go. Fixtral Garden is full of abnormalities. Even the Ten Lords Commission cannot guarantee your safety. I suggest you leave immediately. Ghosts? Heliobi? Possession? That was a big info dump. My brain is still loading. Ugh. It all sounds more like an urban myth than a ghost story. Energy parasite sounds more cool than scary, don't you think? Mmm, I never thought about it like that. Nice take. My audience likes getting to the bottom of mysteries, secrets, and conspiracies. We streamers have to cater to that, you know? Ugh. I've got loads more questions, but my curiosity is satisfied for now. We better leave before the judges decide to arrest us. I'm gonna see if I can get a video of Mr. Tail on the way back. I've already got the title.
demonic fire suddenly appears in Fixtral Garden. Innocent Foxy and girl possessed. What do you think? That gets so many views. Can you give me a hand? Uh, okay, fine. No need to be so blunt about it. Let's go. This place is dangerous. You should leave at once. Excuse me, can we go now? I, I'm just a bit scared about the heliobite reports. But I'll carry out my duties and escort you out of the garden. I should be able to do that, at least. <laughs> if you can't, then you'd better give up the day job and start peddling desserts. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for you, I would have opened a dessert stall ages ago. Shall we go? Let's go. Let's go this way. It's quicker. Miss Quahua, can we have Mr. Tail come out for a photo? Miss Queen Ifen, I'm on official duty right now. It's so quiet. It's getting scarier and scarier. Please stay close to me. Did you hear that? What was that sound? It's a ghost! Ah! What's happening? Uh, I I'm not scared. I just can't stop my leg shaking. Wait a minute. Where did Miss Gwynifen go? Huh? Miss Gwynifen! Did we lose her? We need to find Miss Queen Ifen first. Stay close to me. Gwenyphon, where are you? Hwahwa, stay close. Hwahwa? Oh, no. Where did she go? Is this... a mirror? It looks a little creepy. Huh? Hmm. Hi. Hmm. Uh, uh. Uh, ah! Where am I? Is this fixed wall garden? But it looks different somehow. I should keep moving. Isn't this where I started? 
I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. Wasn't I just here a moment ago? <laughs> You've noticed it, no? All roads are but puzzles in this place. Come, lost one! Hmm. You have a strange scent on you. You must be. I've heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle. With none other than Ventilia. You... You are the one who drove Ventilia away. <sighs> what... Power. Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite, just one bite. I can't wait to savor you. These are no ordinary ingenia. <laughs> of course not. There are mere pawns dancing to my whim. Yeah. Crush them! Smash them to pieces! <laughs> what a peppery fighting spirit! Such an addictive flavor! Rules are made to be broken. Let me see... <laughs> the one who defeated Ventilia. I wonder... What they taste like! <laughs> for your survival after all I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while <laughs> incredible such a relaxed specimen a soft cake of a host it's almost as if as if this body doesn't even belong to you what makes you so detached, young lady? And what is this at your core? Sun? It burns! Never mind. I won't be staying for long. So let's get along while it lasts, shall we? You can call me Cirrus. I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sienjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created, and you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win! How does that sound? What a stubborn fool. You won't ever get out of here without my help. <laughs> anyway, I'm not here to ask your opinion. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> go! Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. 
You can trust me. I want to leave this place too. We are useful to each other. In any case, it doesn't matter if you don't trust me. It's not like you can be rid of me. <laughs> your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. There are so many paper dolls over there. Surely your judge friend left some clues for you. Won't you take a look? Do you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors. The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guest. It seems like we're ready. Now we just have to get out. <laughs> See? I told you I'd help you. The way out is straight. Stop! Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. <laughs> Aren't you a stubborn one? But that's okay. You'll come around once you've walked a few more circles in this place. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. was probably eaten by the helio by already huh? how can that be if that could happen to someone as lively as miss gwen i think that means i'm in even more danger why don't you take a guess oh, you can find the way out right please take me with you Oh, not this again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <sighs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap! Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye.
Beast? From a taxonomic perspective, I believe you're closer to that definition. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? Hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off! Me and those other judges! Got that? Wait. Hold on. I smell something familiar. Cirrus, it's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. <laughs> ah, this is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a crybaby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 no. That won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail. A tail. A tail! Laugh while you can, coward. I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that girl's body. Oh, oh, terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you. You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried. You can't eat her, let alone escape from her. <laughs> Mr. Tail. You're pathetic. Darn it. Uh, think of something, you wimp. Oh, Miss Trailblazer, take this talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the Heliobus's influence. <laughs> hey, girl, say something nice to Huahua. Crying is like a mosquito in my ear. Oh, what a feast! Human emotions are simply delicious. Your sorrowful tears are like bottles of potent wine. Sanjo sail through the cosmos? For a Heliobus and enjoys provoking your weak human sentiments, I can assure you there is nothing more amusing. Now, don't forget about our deal. I will leave only once I've got what I wanted. Cirrus talks nothing but nonsense. But even so, Wahua has a sensitive heart. You, go say something nice to the girl. <laughs> Keep dreaming. I have nothing nice to say to anyone. Rome free? Is that what you call this? This is as far as I can get from her! You think I'd be here playing house with you numbskulls if I could fly away?
I've always been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice. Oh, so it's all my fault. If you just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. But the job... the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. I... I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so useless. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful, too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Fury Nox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Team building? Ugh. Because over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the general of the La Fu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? The general who fought for the La Fu against the Heliobus was named Tung Xiao. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escape to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! It's a pity.
pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down, just like Ignamar did. Why? Does there have to be a reason? The official answer is that the Sienjo is sealing Heliobi in a cage and forcing them to supply energy to the ship. In reality, however, we just want to fight the general and see what the Sienjo is truly made of. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but we're tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shiras. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Ah! The door just opened on its own! Less screaming, more thinking. This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. safer with you here still feel like I'm gonna faint though the door will not open without the proper The courtesies have been performed. Look! Uh, there's a mirror behind the door! Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That... tone... Quokla, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Kuhua, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shreyi? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwen, I then. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Are we above Fixtral Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Uh, you're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all! The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shui! What? The real Madame Shui? Are there pretenders inside the illusion?
I see. Do not be afraid. Quohua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> but what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. So, we're gonna... Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror. Wait. I want to ask a few... Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Bearer Huahua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shreggy behind the mirror! So, we're gonna... Uh, mirrors again! What a surprise! Look around us, Mr. Tail! I think we're at the edge of the illusion! Maybe these are the only mirrors left? Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! So, where... Come here, Huahua. I need to ask you some questions about... Her caution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away. So, we're gonna... Come here, Hofa. Uh, I need to ask you some... As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Shrei. Stupid girl! This is... So... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me, but she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are, either. Uh, tail? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! What do you know? <laughs> and what are we...
we even talking about? We need to focus. The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island. But it's a bit far away. Oh, could I crawl my way there? Quit stalling and get on with it! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. Uh, I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this tower? Uh, let's go! This is the right mirror! Uh, are we... back in Fixtral Garden? You have returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shreyi, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus, and the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. Correct. However, Hua Hua has had many more years of training and is more experienced in fighting Heliobi than you. That is why the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. We're lucky that you have all returned at this opportune time. You hear that, scaredy cat? You're the ace of the Ten Lords Commission! The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, None of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster. Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress Tail. I guess we're more like friends? Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food. <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. 
And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. Let's go. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the General. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together. But Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then... The Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Fury Nox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Fury Nox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They are powerful, but as naive as a child and obsessed with victory. I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. you duel the general why don't you fight me <laughs> serious what makes you worth my time weakling i've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the ten lords my puppets as soon as the general arrives the heliobi will have a rematch why should i fight my own at this crucial moment that group of amateurs you've put together? <laughs> they are nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it.
then send the spirit bearers under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you when you fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy. See? Easy peasy. Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army. Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobite think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything, even allies and kin. Make the decision. Fury Nox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. You two, take this before we fight Furinox. This is the Lunambra Gourd, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also, her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, Please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Fury Nox's control. <sighs> Mr. Chael, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength, too! Oh, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough! I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. Don't point that out! It took me a lot of effort to be this brave! All this time I've just been hiding behind Miss Trailblazer! I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Strayi said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Huahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shrei, you're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Furinox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gourd. So we'll need to activate the evil binding matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the evil binding matrix at its matrix core. Okay. Nox is so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? The stronger you are, the more you underestimate your enemies. Sometimes being weak and humble is the way to survive.
Relax. <laughs> Rise! Together as one. Human creations. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Trailblazer! Quaqua! I'm so glad you're okay! <sighs> I have defeated all the spirit fairs controlled by Furinox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well! We've sealed most of Furinox's fragments. Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gord into the evil binding matrix. Once Fury Nox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Thixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Blainifen, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. <laughs> Get her away from her! you I'd leave your body little pawn excellent I will keep my promise
brain. I will be undefeatable. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again, shall we? Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. Got them. Stand still. The strength. Heaven search. A quick divination. and awaken. Consume too many helio by. We die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. We've still got a chance, puppet. Sarah said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when helio by fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Huahua? <laughs> But what? Aren't you gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? <laughs> These pawns are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? Say bye. Boom. Oh, a mere pawn. Get out! Hey, Cirrus. Why don't you try swallowing me, too? Are you insane? Why are you helping humans? Why? You need a reason? How about this one? I'd rather help a human than a conniving simpleton like you.
even search. Break. Stand still. I see through you. Converge and awaken. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. Cleansing dragon. <laughs> Stand still. I see through you. Good times. No time to say bye. Is doing. I should check up on her. The one possessing Huahua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I have never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial Ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She's coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on, even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. A starfire essences, the Heliobi, will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being. But they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the helio by within. The San Joe will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. about 
how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. And now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! <laughs> Wait... You're right. Madam Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail... He... He must still be out there somewhere! <laughs> don't worry, Miss Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job! Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenaifen's friend, Miss Sushong. I can't leave my post, so, uh, could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. Little Gwei kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. Maybe Little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. You don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later. Wind on top with mountain underneath. Yo, what's up? You're finally here. Without you, our ghost hunting squad would be nothing. Hey, I'm a reliable squad member too. Sure, when you're not passed out in fear. <laughs> If you keep teasing me, I, I, I'm not gonna perform my boulder smashing trick for you anymore. <sighs> the official name is the Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Helio by Containment Breach Incident. That was the name given to us by decree of the Ten Lords. Since we managed to survive the Fixed Roll Garden Incident. The Ten Lords decided to entrust us with hunting down and subduing the Heliobi using our special skills. That's right. This expedition was commissioned by the Ten Lords themselves. I am unsure as to why they attached so much importance to this endeavor. But I have a theory. Hua is a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and I'm a Cloud Knight. We must answer the call to the best of our abilities. And this one here is an Outworlder who's done great things for the sake of the Sienjo. But why did Little Gwei have to get dragged into this? This mission is too dangerous for a civilian. Ugh, I get it. You don't think I have any special skills, so I'll just get in the way? Every flower and tree on the Xianzhou is significant in its own way. Miss Gui has her own strengths, too. As a famous street performer and live streamer, she has precisely the skills we need to acquire intel for our mission.
Miss Gray has set up a social media account under the guise of investigating paranormal phenomena and unexplained mysteries. We can use it to gather intel for our mission. You hear that, Sushong? I'm a key member of the squad! They said I could be a Ten Lords Commission intelligence hawk! Uh, I might not be a scholar, but I don't think calling someone a hawk is a compliment. The Ten Lords Commission has specially entrusted Judge Wolfwo with commanding the ghost hunting squad. So please make sure to follow her lead in all matters related to the Helio Bai. Uh, that's right! I won't let us down! Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost hunt now? Uh, Captain? You can just call me Hohua. Actually, I'm not sure if I can be helpful anymore. After Tail disappeared, I thought for sure the Commission would ask me to resign. But for some reason, Madam Hanya asked me to be the leader of the ghost hunting squad. Uh, anyway, I'll do my best to carry out my duties. As for our mission, Cirrus was locked up in Fictional Garden, but there are a lot of other Heliobi that escaped after the Creation Furnace was broken. According to the Ten Lords Commission understanding of Heliobi behavior, they tend to roam densely populated areas in search of hosts. And wherever they go, there are bound to be reports of... Supernatural phenomena. Little Gwei, can you show us the website we'll be using for intel? I'm a new user, so I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we still have to go out and fact check the leads? Mm hmm? Plus, the spirit bearers from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Speaking of attracting attention, how do we get a following on a paranormal activity website? Sounds like Little Gwei's department. She used me and some of her performances just to draw a bigger crowd. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the easy part. We just post some videos of us ghost hunting, uh, I mean, subduing Heliobi. We're working for the Ten Lords Commission, after all. We're gonna have the best content out there. Madam Hanya has already given us the green light. We'll record our Helio by hunting expeditions to get more followers, and then use the intel from our followers to find more Helio by. It's like a vicious cycle. W wait, a virtuous cycle. Wait, aren't we supposed to be operating in secret? Well, another thing we have to think about is that Helio by feed on the emotions of their hosts. They can even manipulate a host into revealing their deepest secrets. Wouldn't posting a victim's personal information online uh, uh, cause even more harm to the victim? 
Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pick holes, just raising some concerns. The way I see it, operating in secret and exposing the paranormal go hand in hand. We won't reveal the names of any victims. We'll just post some pics and videos of the squad engaging in fierce battles with the supernatural. And then come up with some dramatic titles. Like, Little Gray Investigates. Ghost tries to scare young Cloud Knight girl on Creepy Road. Gets owned. You know? We'll turn the entire Heliobi hunting process into regular uploads. Viewers will see that there's nothing scary about it, and there won't be any public panic. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Want a medal or something? It does kind of sound like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. Mm, I feel like some of you aren't convinced by the whole online ghost hunting thing. How about this? We take a look at the leads we have so far and pick one to try out as a test run. Take a look. This post is getting tons of comments. Lady by Lou disappeared? That's nothing new. She sneaks off all the time. That's not the point. Here, read this part. One of the healers from the Alchemy Commission had Lady by Lou cornered. But then she disappeared into thin air. Judging from the comments, there were several witnesses. Sure, Lady by Lou runs away all the time. But disappearing into thin air? Hmm, it looks like the work of a Heliobus. The Heliobi are masters of manipulating the senses. There are stories of Heliobi changing their shape and appearance to disguise themselves as someone else. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get moving and see if we can find some witnesses. Before we head out, let's make sure we have our intel in order. If we can better understand what a Heliobus wants to do, and what it's capable of doing, it'll be easier for us to help the victim. Interviewing witnesses might give us some clues, but they won't know anything about Heliobi. I, uh, I think I have an idea. We have another source of intel we could use. That's right! Those Heliobi were locked up in the same space for ages! They probably got to know their fellow prisoners like the back of their... Uh, <laughs> I guess they don't really have hands. The thought of seeing Cirrus uh, shivers down my spine. But uh, I bet Cirrus would be eager to see me again. <laughs> They'd devour me whole if they could. Uh, I think Tail made a fool of Cirrus. And Cirrus has held a grudge ever since. If we can get them worked up over it, we might be able to use them to our advantage. This tedium. Even the insects can't hold my attention any longer. I wonder if these ones will prove to be more entertaining. 
Cirrus, we've come to ask you a few questions. I hope you'll be cooperative. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the little girl who fainted and fixed your garden the moment she encountered the Heliobi. Already talking to me like a detective, are you? Hey, where's my sword? You just wait! <laughs> there are plenty of beings in this garden that would like to kill me. Hmm. Why don't you line up one by one and take turns trying? <laughs> don't be ridiculous! We can't allow the host to be harmed. Cirrus, you must be unhappy with how things turned out, right? What do you want from me, little fox girl? You want to know what happened to the guard dog? He turned to ashes a long time ago. I... I don't care about that at all. But I can't help but notice. You managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here. Unable to move an inch while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? I can do that. Under one condition. I wish to arrange a challenge. One akin to the struggle between the great Heliobus Ignamar and the general of the Lafu. As long as you can bring me the current general, anything can be negotiated. Uh, the general? What? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> it seems the judge here doesn't have what it takes to negotiate with a Heliobus. That's just another way of saying they don't want to cooperate. Huh? Wait, Wawa, you can't seriously be thinking about... Deal! I'll submit a request to the Seat of Divine Foresight. One's hexachromatic position is always in flux. Planning is paramount. Would you like me to relay your message? What do we have here? A nameless, a cloud knight, a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and a street performer. <laughs> Quite the group. Wow, the general recognizes me? I didn't realize I was so famous. <laughs> My retainer Yang Ching has mentioned you. You are one of the only people on the Law Fu that was able to deprive him of his sword. Oh, I remember. I should apologize. I did a sword-swallowing performance on the spur of the moment, but forgot to return the sword to him when I left the stage. So, what wind has brought you to the Seat of Divine Foresight? to attend to, and the Ten Lords Commission shouldn't be bothering you with something as trivial as the Heliobi. But if we allow those creatures to roam freely, I'm afraid. Hmm. I heard stories of a skirmish between a previous general and a monster of sorts. I'd always assumed they were an old wives' tale. I never imagined the villain of such tales would come to my doorstep seeking revenge. I must say, 
It seems a bit unfair that I should assume the debt for a conflict I had no involvement in. <laughs> it would appear you are eager to see me assume the debt. <laughs> General Tung Xiao is a venerated predecessor. If I am to honor his legacy, then sitting idly by is not an option. If an audience with the General of the Law Fu is requested, then I will honor such a request. General, Heliobi are vile creatures capable of taking over the bodies of mortals. If you're unsure... I appreciate the Ten Lords Commission having such high regard for my welfare. And it's true I am rather inexperienced when it comes to Heliobi. But as General of the Law Fu, I cannot look on while these fugitive creatures wreak havoc on the populace. I still have some paperwork that needs attending to. Once I am finished, I will make my way to Fixtral Garden without delay. I've never seen this one before. Human. Who are you? Heliobus. Is it not your deepest wish to hold a rematch with the General of the Law Fu? I have come to grant you an audience. Sirius, we have brought you the person you wish to see. This is General Jing Yuan, the one who now sits at the seat of Divine Foresight. Oh. This is the current general of the Lafu? Look at that expression! He's barely half awake! Where is General Tung Xiao? Why did he choose such a lightweight to take over for him? Uh, I suppose it's already too late for the Xian Zhou to rid themselves of this clown. Very well then. General Jing Yuan. How about we settle our score right here in Fixtral Garden? If I win, I must be free to come and go as I please. I agreed to grant you an audience, not meet you in combat. <gasps> what? You refuse? You won't fight me? He comes here. After I demand a rematch, and won't even fight! Is he conceding that I already won? No, there can be no victory in this dream combat. Human logic negates it. <laughs> you misunderstand. I came for a rematch. It's just that... You are not a worthy opponent. <gasps> what? Unworthy? Tung Xiao, as General of the Law Fu, was Commander-in-Chief of the Cloud Knights. Ignamar commanded the Heliobi. The two were as great as the sky and the earth, equally matched like yin and yang. It is only natural that they were worthy opponents. As it stands, I am the General of the Law Fu. But you are no... Ignamar. Merely a prisoner. If you wish to engage me in battle, you must follow my rules. Defeat my army. Only then will I grant you the fight you seek. Uh, your army? <laughs> That's right. You must defeat my four companions gathered here. Then... You will have proved yourself a worthy opponent. Wait, he means us? We'll be okay, right? That's right. For us, any problem that can be solved by force isn't a problem at all. <laughs> so I only need to beat your bonds here. <laughs> it would serve you well not to underestimate them. 
They are as skilled in combat as they are tenacious in spirit. I worry they might pose a problem for you. If you win, you can have your rematch. If you lose, you will answer one question of their choice. No lies, no tricks. Can you accept these terms? Mm. It's a deal. The game is set. This platform will be our chessboard, and the fighters will be the pieces. <laughs> Ugh, trying to humiliate me with lowly pawns. No matter then, I have my pawns to play. Heed my command. I see my power. She'll be the judge. Want to see what I can do? Recount. Lance Blaze! Lance! Forward! It's time. Recount. My 
the will of the Ten Lords. The Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. It's time. Turn out your pockets. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. You've lost, Cirrus. Ugh. Don't get complacent. If I had all of Ignamar's power, I'd never have lost to the likes of you. <laughs> Should you decide to try again, my offer still stands. But you must defeat them. Then <laughs> what are we waiting for? N not so fast. Before we fight again, you need to answer one question like you promised. Oof, pesky devil of a girl. All right. What's your question? L look, is this something a Heliobus could have done? There are countless Heliobi that escape from the creation furnace. And every one of them could have done such a thing. It could have been vengeance. Curiosity, or simply hunger. So how would I know which one abducted your dragon lady? Of course, I do have my suspicions. For example, Luxy. Luxy loves mischief. They give no thought to interfering in mortal affairs. Their only concerns are entertainment and freedom. Among all the fragments of Ignamar, <laughs> the one most likely to abduct your precious dragon lady would be Luxy. We were sailed away for a thousand years. It's been ages since we last tasted the joys and sorrows of the world of humans. I'm sure Luxy was eager to find a new friend and wander the world with them. Mm, I think they're telling the truth. Heliobi do have different personalities, and they can be influenced by the personality of their host. If a Heliobus possesses a great warrior, they might gradually take on a braver, fiercer persona. And if their host is a playful child, they may adopt a childlike spirit. Hmm. Wander the world with them. It sounds like Lady Bailu would have been an ideal target. She's always running off to play in Arm Alley. Mm hmm. This entail should be a big help. Hey! We're not done here! You still owe me a fight! You bunch of meatbags! One minor victory, and you think you're something special? Come on, show me what you've got! The clues are all pointing in the same direction now. It would be wise to strike while the iron is hot. 
Thank you for your help, General. Let's get going. I haven't been here in a while. It's nice to be back in the old stomping ground. Oh yeah? Since you're so familiar with the place, you can lead the way and conduct the interviews. Did I hear something from the peanut gallery? Look! Those two are wearing alchemy commission uniforms. They're probably looking for the dragon lady. Lady Bailu disappeared into thin air. They must be pretty confused. Remember, we have to keep our identity secret when we interview them. And don't mention anything about the Heliobi. People might start panicking. Don't worry, Judge Wapa. Effective communication with the public is one of the basic skills of a Cloud Knight. Hello there. Judging by your clothing, you two must be healers from the Alchemy Commission. My name is Sushong. I'm a Cloud Knight soldier. Are you looking for the Dragon Lady who suddenly disappeared? Uh, even the Cloud Knights are getting involved? Did you file a report or something? Report? I haven't said a word to the Realm Keeping Commission, let alone the Cloud Knights. People would think we were crazy if we reported this. There's something fishy going on. How did the Cloud Knights find out? Uh, uh, good question. So, actually, we're affiliated with the 10th... The 10th Squad! Cloud Knight Security Squad 10, to be precise! <laughs> we patrol the streets and respond to all kinds of unexpected incidents! It's grunt work, essentially. Oh, I can relate. We're no stranger to grunt work ourselves. Anyway, we heard about the Dragon Lady's disappearance, so we hurried over to see if we could help. Oh, we know this Outworlder here. She's from the Astral Express. I've heard the Dragon Lady mention her before. Well, it's great that you're all willing to help, but we haven't actually figured out what exactly is going on. Uh, yeah. Just when we had her cornered, the Dragon Lady disappeared with them. Bang. And while we were chasing her, we saw two of her. It really is a mystery. That's what I was just saying. But can Cloud Him Magic really do that? It sure can. This Boxian beside me? Well, she's actually the Sienjo's top expert on intangible cultural heritage. She's super knowledgeable about Cloud Him magic. Huahua, could you share some expert insight with us? Huh? Um, oh, uh -huh! Yes! I, I'm a very professional expert, and I'd be happy to share my, uh, expert knowledge. In fact, Cloud Him magic isn't the only magic out there that can achieve such feats. Uh, we, Foxians, can use our fox fire to make ourselves invisible! So where did you last see Lady Bailu? On that road there. And I swear I can hear a child giggling whenever I walk by. Must be the wind. Be sure to get some rest. We'll take over from here. Lady Bailu must have seen you and gone off to hide. But with her old friend here, maybe she'll be willing to come back out. Fantastic. Well, we'll leave you to it. Lady Bailu! Lady Bailu, where are you? Lady Bailu, come out and play with us! <gasps> Why are there two of her? <laughs> They're asking us to play with them! Silly head, they're trying to trick you. They're just gonna catch you and take you back. Ooh, I know. 
Let's play a game called Don't Let Anyone Catch Us. <laughs> Twin was one thing, but your screaming nearly sent me to the grave. Uh, sorry, but seriously, I knew it was a Heliobus, but seeing double Bailu like that sent shivers down my spine. It's okay, Miss Sushong. I've worked in the Ten Lords Commission for many years now, but I'm still not used to their tricks. Hmm, they're eluding our senses, but they won't have gone far. Uh, we just need to look around. I can hear laughter, but where's it coming from? It seems to be coming from this room. <sighs> I'll open the door and take a look. Everyone, stay on high alert. Huh? Open. Strange. Is this also the work of the Heliobus? Hmm. They must know that we're following. And now that we know its hiding spot, it's time to use this. This is the Harmonic Chime. It's an item that the Ten Lords Commission forged to help deal with the Heliobi after the Fictional Garden incident. Heliobi create illusions to isolate their victims. But if we ring this chime, our thought waves will synchronize with those of the Heliobus. As for how it works, uh, I'm afraid that would take the rest of the day to explain. In other words, we'll be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion? Exactly. Uh, but once we're inside the illusion, we'll still have to figure out a way to catch Luxie. The powerhouse of this team will leave the door to you. Mm. Please be careful. When you're ready, ring the chime. We'll all charge in together. This is your last warning. I never thought this would be behind the door. Remember, it's just a Heliobus illusion. Hey, you over there! Release Lady Bailu! Ah, don't be a bunch of fun suckers! She doesn't want to let anyone take her away. Luxy, they came here looking for me. It's starting to get dark. Mm, maybe it's time for me to go back now? Ah, Lulu. Didn't we say before that we wouldn't let any grown-ups find us? And never let them take us home. Why? Why did you change your mind? Hmm... You're right. Grown-ups break their promises, but we don't. <laughs> That's right. Remember, if you ever get hungry, I can conjure up anything you like. Berry pheasant skewers, star taro bubble tea, you name it. We have it right here. Okay. Take some right now! Not yet. Why don't we play a game first? You bad guys over there, okay? You're gonna be in the game too! Lulu, let's make a run for it! If we escape from them, I'll conjure up all of your favorite snacks and drinks! Wow! Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! We're free from the grown-ups! We can play all day! Every day! Wait, stop! I 
just want to play a little longer. What's so bad about that? Why do I have to live the way grown-ups do? Grown-ups are always saying, study now and have fun later. But the grown-ups I see at the Alchemy Commission never have time for fun. That door over there is the only way out. We'd better close it. Instead of chasing Lady Bailu, we get her to come to us. Are you serious? Does that little dragon girl look like she's gonna come running over to us? Chasing Bailu around like this reminds me of something I saw back home when I was a child. On my home planet, resources were scarce. And if you wanted to eat meat, you had to risk your life by going deep into the mines to hunt an animal called a sky mink. Sky minks fly so nimbly and are so alert that even the quickest of hands will have a hard time catching them. Gather around, children. Ugh, don't interrupt. Hear me out. The sky mink's ecology is unique. It lives in symbiosis with a venomous creature called a shrieking lizard. When a sky mink goes out to feed, it lets the lizard protect its young. So we used to go to sky mink nests to catch shrieking lizards instead. When a shrieking lizard gets caught, it calls to the sky mink with a loud shriek to warn it to return to the nest and protect its young, which of course led the sky mink right to us. Well, the competition for survival went two ways. Shrieking lizards spew out a potent venom and failure to take proper precautions cost many a hunter their life. Nice story, but what's it got to do with chasing Lady Bailu? Oh, isn't it obvious? If we catch one Bailu, the other will come running to us. I remember one of the judges had a precious item called a Lunambra Gourd, which could absorb and imprison Heliobi. Come to think of it, I think that's the thing I smashed. I wonder if they fixed it. Actually, I have one with me. But it's only effective when the Heliobus is close by. Nice! In that case, you can take the gourd and camp out in a corner. The rest of us will chase Lady Bailu back over here. If we catch Lady Bailu, will Luxie really follow her into our trap? Do Heliobi really have a sense of loyalty to their victims? Who knows? Cirrus said that Luxie is kind of childlike. It's worth a try. Grown-ups always say that life is harder for them! So weird! Weren't grown-ups kids once, too? Would you spoil the fun for younger you just because older you isn't happy? Ugh, exactly! Why do they all 
always talk about things I don't understand. <sighs> I just want to have fun. <sighs> sure enough, they walked right into our trap. <laughs> I was considering letting you join the club and have fun with us. But since you're so determined to spoil everything, I'm afraid we'll have to settle our differences through violence. Yes, violence. The only language you grown-ups know how to speak, right? The one you use when you're telling us all. changed. Cleansing dragon. <laughs> Together as one. Suppress. <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> I will dispatch you. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> Good times. No. Time to say bye. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I fail to send you. By the ten Heaven surge. Rise! It came together. All things in this world. Human creations! A blade knows no mercy. Your end approaches. Say bye, that Brandon. paradise must savor it for me. But we can't. 
there's nothing I can do about it. Playtime can't go on forever. But we still had lots of fun. <laughs> Let's play again next time. There won't be a next time. Huahua, you know what to do. Luxie, how long before the next time we can play together? We both have many years ahead of us. So, in that sense, it won't be long at all. But for now, I have to leave with these grown-ups. All right, all right. Lady Bailu, it's getting late. You need to go home now. Everything's so fuzzy. Uh, did I do something bad? No need to feel bad, Lady Bailu. You were in a dream world. None of it was your fault. But... but... I made everyone chase after me for so long. I... I shouldn't have done that. It's only natural to want to escape when strict rules are being forced on you. I know there are a lot of grown-ups trying to control you, telling you what you can and can't do. They're the ones to blame. I was ready to apologize to everyone, but now you made me forget what I wanted to say. Apologize for what? You know, you and me have a lot in common. I'm almost a grown-up now, but I still miss my childhood days and running about barefoot. My big brother used to boss me around. He'd give me chores, constantly telling me to grow up, that kind of thing. Then one day, I decided to rebel. I ran away to prove that I could get by without my family, and eventually settled on the Sienjo. Whether it's a dragon lady like you, or an ordinary person like me, I feel like many people's lives follow a similar trajectory. One day, You'll have the strength to leave your current situation and move on to the next phase. In the meantime, I suggest you try and cherish the good rather than apologize for the bad. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want everyone to feel too sorry for me. <gasps> hey, did you ever think about joining the Alchemy Commission as a psychotherapist? Jeez, and there I was, pouring my heart out. Now I feel like this kid's lived longer than I have. Um, uh, can we not linger around here too long? This place is really spooky. Uh, maybe we can chat somewhere else. Truth be told, Luxie didn't seem as evil as the other Heliobi we've seen. They sure made us run, though. If I ever have to run like that again on the job, I'm filing for workers' comp. Heliobite don't really fall under good or evil. They just act according to their desires and emotions. I hope the others will be just as easy to subdue. I should go surrender myself to those two medics. They were looking so hard to find me. Wait! Uh, what is it? We're going to make a post about this paranormal incident online to attract more followers. It'll help us get more intel. Oh, I get it. You can't just tell the public that the dragon lady was possessed by a heliobus, right? So, uh, you won't mention my name, right? And we'll make up a headline? That's right! We want to report this incident like it's a paranormal phenomenon. The more exaggerated, the better. And then announce that it was solved by our ghost hunting squad. Then we add on a few photos and videos. It'll be sure to get lots of views. Um, that's great and all. But I'm not good at making stuff up on the spot. 
I heard that you helped Mr. Cian write stories before. You must be an expert wordsmith. It's all a team effort. Come on, help me think of something. Sounds good. Let's have a think about it. a good title what does everyone think alrighty then it's decided you should go back soon lady Vilu. those two medics have had a rough day okay I'm going back now thanks for the rescue <laughs> case closed I never knew catching heliobi would require so much work Done yet. Madam Hanya said that once we've subdued a Heliobus, we should return to Fixtral Garden and lock them inside the evil binding matrix's suppression towers. get some rest but there are still lots of helio by roaming around out there oh we can't rest for too long i couldn't agree more i'd rather focus on resting first i need to wait for my heart rate to recover before i go chasing another helio bus Thank you. 